Hey y'all, today I am going out once again to McLaren Charlotte. I like to go out every once once in a while and just see what's up, see what they got, see what kind of inventory is laying around. Uh, usually it's something pretty spectacular. So that's what I'm doing today. We have a beautiful 765 LT. They've got quite a few on this lot, honestly, but I really like this color. I don't know if it translates well on camera, but it looks really nice. But what I really wanted to show you guys was this Rolls Royce with a body kit? What a weird thing to do to a Rolls Royce. I don't think I've ever seen a Royce with a body kit before. I don't know which kit it is. It's pretty nice. I mean, it, it doesn't look a whole a whole lot different, but you can definitely tell the fenders are flared out. And uh, front and back. It's, it's quite interesting that they would have done that. Oh, a Corvette. Bye. What a choice. What a choice. Y'all, we have a Pista. These are so hard to find and they're very expensive. But I'll tell you what, we not only have a Pista, we also have, well, some Rolls Royces and a sick, sick McLaren, but boom, another Pista. What? Although I really don't like this spec at all. Too many colors. I mean, the stripe is red and black, not even red and green like the rest of the car. And it's got these tacky stars. I do not know what's up with that. I'm going to Vin Wiki this thing and see who the heck owned it before. But I really enjoy, uh, well, also there's a wide body rolls. You don't see that every day. But I really enjoy this spec. That spec is really nice. Quite well done. Now this must be a new option, I would think, on the Rolls Royces. I've been seeing it a lot. This hood is not silver paint. It is it is aluminum. It is brushed aluminum. Or well, at least I believe it's aluminum. It might be titanium, but I think it's aluminum. It's not a wrap. It's actually brushed metal. And uh, that is a really cool touch. You can't even tell from back here. Unless the sun hits it just right, but... It is really neat to see aluminum brushed like that on a vehicle. And like I said, it might be newer. I think it's newer because I've never seen it before this year. But to be fair, I haven't seen a whole lot of Rolls Royces in my lifetime, so it might be a traditional kind of kind of option, but that's really cool. As we come up to this lineup of plentiful G-Wagons, Few of them have the Brabus package, which is pretty neat. I do quite enjoy the uh, Brabus look. But uh, the one I wanted to point out, I mean this tan one over here is sick too, but this maroon one, I don't know what the package name is, but I know it's a limited edition. Someone posted about this recently. They used to have two of these at the same dealership. But uh, it is a limited edition. It's not just a different wrap on the same vehicle. It's, it actually is a limited edition package. And again, I'll have to look it up. But, and I encourage you to look it up as well, if you don't know. But it is, it is a package, and it is limited. But look at this Brabus. Look at, look at that. Oh. So beefy. Side dump exhaust. You got these ridiculous flares. That's bad. The uh, carbon fiber spare wheel cover. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it's got that wing up there. You can call it a wing. These little side vents. The whole package is pretty ridiculous. The thing I don't like though, the one thing, the one gripe, is if you look in there, that is fake. Those are fake inlets. It's plastic. But, and then revving you here, it's 4x4. It's not a G-Wagon. It's actually a 4x4. So, for those of you who don't know, the 4x4 is not a G-Wagon. It's not just a lifted G-Wagon, it's actually bigger. It's wider, it's longer, it's it's bigger. Now, you can lift these 
in which case the, uh, I mean already the hood, the bottom of the hood there is about chest level on me and I'm 6'2", but uh, you can lift them to be even higher and I've seen them even higher. I've seen ones that I could fit underneath, but uh, these are pretty crazy. Such a massive, massive vehicle. And you can see the, uh, the model designation right there. 4x4 four four squared is what they call these. Now this is the same chassis as the 6x6. If anyone out there has seen the Australian military 6x6, same chassis as this one. Except that one has, of course, 6 wheels instead of 4. Which is why it's a 6x6 instead of the 4x4. Four four. But it's based off the same uh, chassis and platform as this one. And I really like those. I really like these. The last thing I wanted to point out in this long line of Urises, Urises, Walruses, is uh, this. It has a body, body kit on it. I don't know if it's an official body kit from any official place. It kind of looks like the Mansory, but don't, don't uh, quote me on that. The hood, way aggressive. I actually really like that. Fender flares, I mean, they're, they're there. I don't, I don't know what I like about the front bumper. I don't, I don't know if I like that at all. The back, fender flares, subtle, but uh, again, they're there. That's nice, I guess. I like the hood, and it doesn't look like the back has too much color. Except that's blacked out instead of silver. But yeah, that's something interesting, something of note.